Good day, global crypto enthusiasts. This is 88 Fantastic coming to you Monday, April 1st, 2019. Uh, I just wanted to do a video on this random Monday here. Uh, April 1st, uh, today for me is exactly one year of physically dollar cost averaging into the market. April 1st, 2018 was the first time I put a dollar into this market. And I've been dollar cost averaging my way in for exactly one year now. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Very happy where we're sitting in my real physical money portfolio. Um, fairly happy with my uh, faucet portfolio, even though um, the only disappointing thing with the faucet portfolio is, is not being able to get people involved in the space, right? So as we see, uh, so today would be actually about three full months of actually um, off and on playing um, uh, faucets and at 200 Saturday's video we are sitting at $243 so at about $81 per month of collecting um, free cryptocurrency so far and for me that was low because I spent uh, November and December um, just looking and wasting time and getting burnt on a lot of places like wasting time and not getting paid on anything so now that I'm, uh, my links are in my about section are all solid. Those are the ones I'm maintaining and um, finding an extra one or two per week. But now that I've got a solid uh, Satoshi cycle going here, my numbers should get better every week. So let's have a look at the market before we give you guys a quick rundown of, of uh, how to collect and earn some free money uh, in your spare time. So we see the market sitting at 146 billion. We've, uh, it's been just a, a really nice, uh, slow, steady increase over uh, the last uh, few weeks we've seen here. Um, any pullbacks we've had have been really minor. We've have, we haven't have had any major pullbacks in the last couple of, couple of weeks anyways. And by a, a major pullback in, in a 146 market would be like 10 billion overnight type of thing. So really good to see. Uh, so let's go find out where the money's actually going here and uh, who's, who's having a really good uh, seven days and last 36 to 48 so on saturday's video uh bitcoin was sitting at four thousand and ninety two dollars so we see uh just about a 70 dollar gain in uh, a little over two days ethereum keeps moving nicely uh what else do we see here again xrp really hasn't budged they're still st stuck where they are eos looks green across the board but eos was actually at 460 litecoin too shows some green but they're actually at about 62 so that's not where the money the money's going into Bitcoin and Ethereum up top right now. Uh, who else is getting some nice chunks of cash? Obviously, Binance Coin setting an all-time high this week in a down market. Really sweet. Uh, Cardano slowing down a little bit, little bit here. They're they're a touchdown over from the weekend. Tron staying right where it is. The big gainer of the week is Dash, hands down, like no doubt about it. Um, when we started doing faucets and pumping out these videos in early January. Dash was my main example of why, along with Bitcoin, of course, but why I wanted to uh, start gathering it. And now you see what Dash has been doing. Like Dash was, uh, I think it was around 80 bucks in early January or so. But these last three weeks, maybe a month or so, Dash has just been going between 85 and 90 and then back to 90, then up to 95 and then back down to whatever. But it's constantly fighting and getting bigger and stronger. So uh big fan of dash don't own any of my real portfolio just in my uh, faucet portfolio so neo and on, oh, look at tezos tezos is still just crushing it so uh not sure where their news is actually coming from other than a coinbase listing and again just to be added on to an exchange look look what it's doing speaking of exchanges uh don't forget this week we also actually had two hacks we had the dragon x uh exchange got hacked but they didn't shut down they're still moving and uh, BitHum for the second time within a calendar year also got broken into. So not your keys, not your crypto. Hate to say it. You know, the first couple of times it happened, you feel bad for people. But you know what? Every time an exchange gets hacked now and people lose their funds, you know what? Fuck you. You're an idiot. You've been told for two plus years, get your get your, get your uh, investment and, and look after it yourself. Stop getting other people to look after you and uh, be irresponsible about it. So. Basic attention token, still massive, massive growth, like just kicking ass. So sweet to see Dogecoin making its uh, guest appearance. Qtum having a nice overall week. Maximin coin, that looks good, but Maximin coin was well over uh, the 125 mark for a while, so it's slowing down, but still having some pretty solid growth. Do, do, do. You still see the leftovers of the 500% uh, crypto.com pump coming back down a little bit still. Zero X is having a nice seven days. 
chain link, ba -ba -ba -ba, and all oh, KuCoin shares are still crushing it. So, anyways, that's what we got in the market right now. Uh, a lot of money coming into the market right now. Um, as we talked about on Saturday, we're seeing a mirror image of the two, 2018 market where the money's starting to come in right now. The money should continue to come in probably till uh, maybe around May long weekend or so. And then that that's for me, that's the next date to watch is that last eight to 10 days in May. And we want to see if, if, if it happens again this year. So we built all this money up in, in March and April of, of 2018. And then uh, we hit a certain peak at around the 450, 460 mark. And then uh, we got kicked in the nuts and came all the way backwards down to uh, uh, the 200 to 220 billion mark where we stayed until the uh, Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin fake, fake Satoshi fucked the market and brought us back down to 100. So, all right, let's get out of here and let's go start earning because I'm not making nothing unless I am earning. So let's uh, go get started with our 30 minute and our one hour timers. Super easy. We're just going to do one of each for you guys today and we'll get out of here. I want to get more things set up. Keep cruising. Earn money. Not stop. Maybe we'll get lucky with a juicy roll here. And again, I don't got my one hour timers in here anymore. So if you guys want these ones, uh, just come down and ask. Or maybe I'll put something in here. I don't know yet. But I had the one hours in there and nobody was signing up. So Come on, let's have a juicy roll. 99. Oh, add another zero on there, you tight bugger. Then it would have been yet. So that's how I do it. Make sure I get my uh, 30 minute timers and my one hour timer going, and then I go start smashing everything else after that. My fives, my ones, my twos, my fives. And again, this one we got set up for automatic withdrawals. Every 25,000 sats automatically comes out. We're having another outstanding week over at Cointiply. We just cashed out of here like two weeks ago, so we went from zero back up to uh, just about 12 bucks within two weeks. Again, not a whole bunch, but you know what? That's free Bitcoin. And as uh, you have been seeing, the price of Bitcoin just keeps going up and up and up and up. Oh, what am I doing? Clicking the wrong. <laughs> Oh, it's too early. I need a sip of coffee. Oopsie, this is what happens when you're wrong. Half asleep still. And there we go. So some of these are like, coin to play is really awesome. Like I said, every day that you log in, you get a loyalty percentage point. So I'm at 100%. So every time, I, whatever I win on my spin, they match it every time I do that. And again, I'm in 10 to 12 times per day, right? Uh, the other one I showed you guys because I had started this with you guys. So this is my 10th day playing here. So for after one full day, you get a percentage all the way up to 30%. Like, <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. Anyways, let's get going. We're going to do one each. All of these uh, are either in my about section or I'll post a link for you guys. And again, it's just um, super quick. So collect some sats, real super duper easy. Get something going on the big screen. Get the other laptop running on auto here as soon as I'm done this. And then start smashing manual claims as much as I can before I get tired. There we go. Another 7,950 sats at ETH Classic. There's my balance, just over 3 million. I usually get this one up to about a little over 4 million. That way I can, uh, because this is not this is not a Faucet Hub attached wallet. This one goes directly to my own wallet. So the transaction fee is a little bit higher. Uh, this one here too, I like to do. This one's super duper easy. Just log in once an hour, get paid. And there's actually no captures with this one. which automatically puts it into one of my favorites when there's no captures. Boom, paid, done. Move on to the next one. We'll just do one here. Uh, we're doing Dash, Litecoin, and Digibyte on this one. This one I haven't been able to, uh, kind of forgot about it, so I didn't get to the minimum. So this week I'm going to work on getting to the minimums and getting paid. So I've got between 20 and 50,000 sats in here that I can't add into my overall totals because they're not in my faucet hub wallet. So crosswalks. Uh, be nice today. There we go. Just two. Thank you. 
I was doing some of these last nights, and I was getting up to like seven capture, eight capture, and that's like I said, that's the benefit of when you're doing so many of these other ones. When uh, the site has the advertising set up like that, and they're blinking you in and out, let's go to another one. Why sit there? There we go. Another 420 sats added. Not a whole bunch, but again, it's free. I could go through the rest, but I'll do that after the I get out of this video. So here we are. We'll keep going on our claims. Let's do a nice digibyte one at 9%. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Maybe we'll hit... Uh, into the double digits of the millions and millions come on baby nice and quick for us today or not oh this one too this one might this one might bounce us once there it goes get out of here let's see if we can back it up once no i'm stuck towards no stuck stuck Anyways, when this one happens, this pisses me off too because this is bullshit because they take you from one ad, they bounce you into a second ad, then they bounce you back into the original ad. So technically, they're getting paid three times and I'm getting paid once. And that pisses me off. So again, when the sites start to do just like that, you know what, fuck off and I'll go play somewhere else. You're not paying me three times, you're only paying me once. And this too, this Flaslink is another really bad one for that. Might bounce us out. Well, we're only doing one, so suck it up, buttercup. What the? That's what I mean. Mm -mm -mm. See what's going on here? Just bounce the see. Now we got to go backwards and start it again. See what I mean? What a crock of shit! So what? That's five times now. They gotten five ads out of this one. That's why a lot of these, uh, like we talked about in Saturday's videos, how many, there it's working now, how many faucets had closed since January, like, oh my God. So I, when I first started, we, we were doing like 50 one week and then we'd add another 20 and got it up to well over a hundred and out of those, I think I tested about 120 sites. I would say at least half of them have closed since January. So again, it's very important that, um. When you get started, click onto my links with the ones that I've got in my boat section because those guys are still actually open and paying. And that's the main thing. Come on. Everything was going so smooth. So there we finally got bad error, bad claim key. So I don't even know what we got for that one. I'll try one more. Oh my god. But like I always said, it's always the roughest when you first log in because every site is always trying to maximize their ad traffic. So as shitty as it is, it sucks to get started. But after, like if I sat on here for 15 minutes, there'd be very minimal advertising. Minimal. And then you can just really cruise through everything quick. So why don't I just skip through them? Because like I've always said, I do everything live. And that way when you see it and you go through it, it's not unexpected. That way, when you go through these and it does happen, it doesn't it doesn't piss you off to the point where you want to smash your head through your laptop or throw your phone through a wall. Because I've gone through some of that. <laughs> some of it literally pisses you off so much until because you've missed something so little. So, And there we go. We should get paid for that one now. There we go. Another 22 sats. So. That's a little, oh, there we got another one back here. I see my little clock rewind. Pay me. We get another just about 8,000 sats. Yeah, so the price hasn't moved. So that's another way I can tell what the price in the market is, is that um, these will adjust on the, some of these will adjust on the fly. Like when I'm over here at all coins and I'm collecting and say the price of ETC is just bouncing all over the place, so will the reward. It'll just everywhere, right? So. That's another a great way of telling um what's going on. So, well, have one more quick look at the market, and then we are going to get out of here and go enjoy the rest of our day. Bitcoin at forty one fifty five. So again, go to my about section. All the links are there for Faucet Hub and all of uh, uh, all of the solid links that are still paying out. Everybody, everybody. There's also some in there that give you lo loyalty bonuses uh, for logging logging in every day, like I've been showing you guys. Oh, I'm so tired, I can't even speak, so I'm just going to get out of here. So, this is 88.
Fantastic showing you how to take a bite out of the cryptocurrency market. Take care, y'all.